What's up guys, this is Eddie Rod here, and I know it has been such a long time. I do apologize, but I want to thank you guys so much, first off, for watching this video. I am in no way a professional at making these types of videos, but I do it just because I, when I make a big old plane like this, I want to he hear some epic music behind it. It just looks really awesome with the epic music behind it and stuff. Um, go ahead and check out. There's going to be links in the description to this craft as well as links to the song. I'm going to put links to his YouTube channel as well. So go ahead and check him out. Great music. It's royalty free music. I recommend it. Highly recommend it. Um, for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, for the remainder of the video, if you guys want to stick around, you can watch me mess around with this plane. If not, you can go ahead and just call it the end of the video. But what we're going to do for now is we're going to launch this plane again. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just how really amazing and gigantic this plane really is. This vehicle is, if we go to map view here, 1,173 parts, total mass of 333 tons and that is pretty much with only this one tank right here uh, about a third full close to halfway full none of the tanks other tanks have fuel in them and that's pretty much right there center of balance and lift now as you can see there's three fuselages it was a pain in the butt to get this sucker to have a lot of lift so the outside fuselages have wings inside angled about 45 degrees to give the body extra lift so that way the wings are not lifting the entire weight of this vessel on their own the body itself has lifting force so she actually takes off and flies amazing after you put all that in there but if you don't those wings are going to take all the load and they it might have even needed some bigger wings if i did not do that of course, she's strutted to heck. You're, when you, If you guys do download the craft file and check it out for yourself, you can see just how many struts there are. I like to keep all of my strut work on the bottom of the wings for just to make it look better. Uh, you can see I've got cubic octagonal struts, so we can extend these struts all the way out to the edges of the wing, kind of like a skeletal structure. Um, the tail is uh, comprised of pretty much the same thing, so we're just going to go ahead and skip the squabble of talking and... Uh, the squab is squab is squab and I messed that up big time and uh, we're gonna launch this bad boy now again she has 24 engines these are the of course the bigger more powerful the turbojet engines and um, yeah basically that's about it I think I went over everything she <laughs> look at this fuel capacity Oh, I got glare on the window right now. Oh, I cannot barely see it. 382,000 units of fuel. But that, you're not going to, these are all liquid fuel tanks, the very long ones, to give me length and to save on mass. All right. That's enough talking for real this time. The only mod, this is all stock, guys. Everything is stock. The only mod was curb cam, so that way I can make those nice camera angles for you guys. All right. Let's fire this bad boy. Oh, and just to show we're not cheating. Uh, there's your Alt F12 menu to show that nothing is turned on, gravity's on, we're all good to go. Alright, 3, 2, 1, engine sequence begin! All 24 of these behemoths. 4,000 uh, 4, units of fuel and they all show like they're on an empty tank. I like to let these engines spool up a little bit before I release the brakes. Right about now. Now. I did not use part clipping at all for this vessel. I'll show you guys how to do this. This was with the new um, offset mode, the new features of, I believe it was 0.25 that released those new features, or 0.90, I forgot, because I, I just came back in 0.90, so they could have released it in 0.25. I didn't play too much of 0.25 at all. But the offset feature, the rotate feature, that helped me out a lot in building this vessel. All right, we're going to get to about 70, 75 meters per second, and then we're going to pull up, and we need to make sure that the back here does not hit the ground. So we're just going to pull up ever so slightly, 75, bam, front wheels up in the air, ever so slightly, let go, don't pull up anymore, that's good enough right there. Go ahead and pull them landing gears up, and that's it, folks, she is airborne. Now, you have to get airborne quick with this plane because, believe it or not, 
we do impact this tank right here. And it's a pretty fun freaking explosion when you lose the tip of your wing on takeoff like that. So let's go ahead and pull up, see how responsive she is. This is running in 32-bit Kerbal Space Program. It's running a lot better because there's no other mods installed. Uh, I wish it ran this good. Gigantic planes like this ran this good always when I have all my mods installed, but... I think she's only running about 1.5 gigs right now, so believe it or not, this vessel could have been bigger. Yeah, that's right, folks. And I do have the graphic settings turned up all the way for you guys. I don't want to see any jagged edges or anything. Uh, if you notice, the shadow is kind of glitchy, but I, I can't really help that. Look how gigantic that shadow is, believe it or not. That's, a, that's huge, man. That's the biggest shadow I've ever seen. Look at that sucker. Almost as big as the Aurora. I know that it has been such a long time, and I do apologize so much, guys, that it's taken me so long to upload a video, but I, I, I had a lot of money at one time, and I had a lot of free time to record these YouTube videos for you guys, but then I kind of ran out of money, and I had to go get two jobs. Uh, for a while there, I had three jobs. I lost my internet for a while there. I couldn't pay my internet. I mean, it just it builds, man. It's really been rough out here. But enough of that. My personal life has nothing to do with this video right here. I uh, just want to let you guys know I'm very sorry that it has taken me so long to get a video out to you. I'm going to try and get videos out on a more regular basis from now on, I promise. Um, I did want the first video coming back to be a little more epic, so I have been ready to record for a few days, but I just wanted this video to be perfect. Um, I know it's not in any way perfect at all, but, you know, I, I try. I'm not professional at making those, you know, cinema, um, cinematic uh, videos, but I like them, so I try. I've only made two. That was my second one. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if what you guys think, any ways to improve or what I can do to, to make better or any requests or anything like that. Just let me know. All right, so back to this plane. Right now, I'm holding, believe it or not, just the D key and just pulling up every now and then. But the D key keeps me in my turn and pull pull up just keeps me kind of level like uh, it, it's hard to explain. Because if I just were to be pulling up in this turn, the tail starts sagging and she starts wanting to turn opposite of the turn. So I'm just pulling up, tapping E every now and then and my tail, it, it's kind of sagging. It doesn't want to go into the turn. So if you hit the D key, this is how they do in real life too, you'll see that you'll start drifting towards the right hand side of the velocity vector and that, that's the way you want to be when you're going into your right hand turn like that. The tail is pushing the craft into the turn. Also, I should have um, had an action group to shut off some engines. Maybe when I release the craft file, I don't know, I'll probably put it to where you can toggle engines on each wing so you can lose power on one wing and gain power on another wing to help you through the turns because this is in no way uh, a maneuverable highly maneuverable plane she, she's an unwieldy beast she is <laughs> gigantic strutted to hell and uh yeah she weighs a ton 330 tons to be exact I wish you guys could have seen these wings before I strutted them. Oh my god, all of these rows. If you look, these are all rows and rows of just single wing segments. And man, it looked like Freddy Krueger's nails scratching up against the ground. It was awesome. This game kind of boring. Though, so we need to go ahead and uh, go down towards the KSC here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> see what, maybe we we'll just buzz the tower. We won't do nothing. We'll just buzz the tower. That's all. I do have... Uh, oh, no. Not in this one. Collision effects. I'm going to start using that mod from now on, always, because collision effects, it just makes it awesome with all the sparks and everything. All right. Let's see if we can go buzz that tower. I forgot. I should have pulled out a long time ago out of that turn. We are coming for you, tower. Lower the throttle a little bit. When you want to dive, go ahead and lower your throttle a little bit. Because, yeah, she just has a great amount of lift. And when you're going at normal cruising speed, uh, she just doesn't want to freaking go down. She wants to stay airborne. All right. Tower, I'm coming for you. We got to go down. 
This is gonna be the freaking most epic tower buzzing ever. Yeah, I said tower buzzing. I did, yes. Do a barrel roll! Yeah, right. I, I don't know. Maybe this plane can do a barrel roll. I have not tried to do a barrel roll. After we buzz the tower, we are going to attempt a barrel roll. Come on, baby. We're going at such a slow speed because don't forget those wings in there are giving the whole entire body just tremendous amounts of lift. I mean, I wouldn't say tremendous, but for the vessel, you know, it's just like, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of drag on it, I would say, on this vessel. All right, we're getting a little too close to that tower now. I, I wanted to go under the height of it, but also uh, I don't want to clip my wings, so maybe we'll start pulling up. Give her gas! Look at this freaking plane, man. Oh my god. That is amazing. Woo! Look at that shadow! Bum, 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 bum. See, that's why I do cinematics. Cin I cannot say that word for nothing today. That's why I do cinematic stuff, is because I, I just, I like to hear the epic music behind it. It's just, uh, it's cool. Freaking 24 engines roaring to life. Let's crash this bad boy, that's it. Getting born, I wanna crash it. Let's see if my computer can handle this. Of course it can. Let's see if Kerbal Space Program can handle it. 32 bit, oh my god, where are we gonna crash this behemoth? See, I'm pushing down the whole time. She wants to climb. Alright, come on, baby. Believe it or not, I've gotten her up to about 600 miles per hour at about 25,000 feet. Pretty good plane. In, in Kerbal Space Program, that's, uh, it was, uh, see, I had, I usually converted over my top speed. Um, how many meters per second was that? I forgot. I think it was about 250 uh, 300 meters per second was my top speed, something like that. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't want to hit the water. I'm going to hit right after the water there. Oh, this is going to be an epic crash. We're going to leave the engines full throttle, too. Or maybe we should come in with our wing clipping the ground first. Yeah, and then we'll kill the throttle. Let's do that. Let's kill the throttle. Well, no, because if I kill the throttle all the way, she just nose dives. Such a heavy plane. All right, let's do it. We'll kill the throttle right here. Whoop, whoop, pull up. Whoop, whoop, pull up. I know, computer, please leave me the hell alone. Oh, God, this is going to be an epic crash. Oh, God, this is going to be an epic crash. Oh, God, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, losing our wing. Oh, snap. Oh, piece by piece. We're going down. Oh no! Jeb, I love you! No, don't crash the game, please! Don't crash it! No! Oh, I. Th oh, wait, nope! Ah, there we go! Yeah! Hey, I was about to say, where'd my explosion sounds go? Alright guys, so I just wanted to kind of mess around and show you the plane real quick after the video. Uh, I do want to, also I wanted to say thank you and apologize for not putting out a video in so long. Again, I'm going to try and put out videos more often, I promise. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, my name's Eddie Rod and as always, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace!